Next up on our agenda is a discussion and vote on the superintendent's fiscal year 22 budget recommendations. The annual scheduled vote on the 2021 to 2022 school budget took place on the evening of March 31st, 2021. The meeting for this specific reason to vote on the budget had been scheduled seven months prior. 86 minutes prior to the start time of the school committee meeting and vote, the chair of the school committee, Adam Fruberg, was notified by the mayor that she would not be attending. We did invite the mayor and CFO to participate in this discussion as well. Also invited and expected at the meeting was Mary Ellen Kelly, the city's chief financial officer. She herself had been invited several weeks prior and was expected to attend. She was a no-show. Um, the me multiple members asked for the CFO to present on revenue expectations and be here for our budget vote. Um, however, I do not see the mayor or CFO in the Zoom room, so we shall keep close eyes on that so we can talk to them as needed before we are uh, done with this. The mayor herself serves on the school committee as an ex officio member. This really means she is a member by virtue of her holding another office, in our case mayor. As an ex officio member, she is expected to be at all meetings, and her function is to vote only if there is a tie vote. Her presence in this specific meeting would have also been appreciated as at the end of the day, the $148 million budget that was voted on, next needs to be approved by the mayor. So having the mayor there for that budget discussion and vote would have eliminated the surprises of changes and cuts as the budget goes to the mayor's desk for her John Hancock before heading to the full city council for a final vote. Any discussion on the buildings and grounds budget? Seeing none. Swinging back to the meeting at hand, the budget section of the meeting did not get underway until just about 8 p.m. Discussion and voting on individual budgets took place shortly after. Again, uh, next up. Is there a motion to adopt the Food Service Department budget? By 8.40 p.m., the voting on the budget was completed. All right, we're now back for the final vote. So I'd like to propose to, um, to um, approve the fiscal year 22 operating budget of $148,232,900. And at 8.44 p.m., the mayor showed up on screen for only a minute with a Zoom background of a group of ladies. The mayor then disappeared again, reappearing with her normal Zoom That's background at 8.54 p.m. Uh, Miles and Mr. Seeley for that presentation. And the pictures are, are excellent. It's very exciting to see this all. So, School committee member Tiffany Masculine closing discussions took a moment to vent her frustrations at the mayor's perfect arrival time. In reality, it was actually... Um, an awful time. You showed up again, once again, here we talk about the budget and you show up exactly as soon as we finished voting on the budget. So we're no longer working on the budget. We voted on the budget and you and you weren't even here to participate as the mayor. So, so I, once again, I'm sad. I'm disappointed that here we are, that you and Mary, Mary Ellen Kelly were invited to this meeting where we had scheduled a vote on the budget and you were nowhere to be seen until we finished our budget discussions. So like, once again, super disappointed um, that you were nowhere to be found. Ms. Maskell, first of all, uh, me, my absence this evening was I informed the chair of our committee 83 minutes before the meeting began. That I had an engagement that it was scheduled over a year ago. Via our Freedom of Information Act request, we learned that the event on the mayor's schedule was listed as, quote, Mass State House Panel Discussion DST, end quote. Without knowing what this event was, we could not verify if it had in fact been scheduled a year or more prior. When we finally discovered what the event was, we were flabbergasted. It was a, not a government event. It had nothing to do with the state. It was a social and networking sorority event. It was a panel discussion put on by a state rep who is a member of sorority of Delta Sigma Theta. The event titled Delta Day at the Mass State House is an annual event, and the last one occurred on March 30th, 2020. Per the flyer, the mayor was selected as a speaker. The event is pretty top secret. Unless invited, there is no marketing available online. We at Framingham Unfiltered were lucky and got some very timely help. The event title, The Fire Next Time, The Racial Disparities in COVID-19 Recovery. 
The title told us all we needed to know. A year prior, we were only two weeks into our initial lockdown. Cases were slowly on the rise. There was no understanding of the disease. There was no recovery in the works, let alone an understanding of racial disparities in COVID-19 recovery. Therefore, the mayor lied about when she actually committed to attending this event, and it is more than likely that she was not selected as a panelist for the event until we had actual understanding of the racial disparities in COVID-19 recovery. All the mayor's words on this therefore can be considered a bald-faced lie. Letting the committee chair know about her double booking 86 minutes before the school committee was to begin shows that she wanted to wait to the very last minute so that this appeared to be sudden and unexpected. To do during this time. Secondly, I am in constant contact with Mary Ellen Kelly, uh, Lincoln Lynch, so we know exactly where the money is, the budget is coming. And there is nothing more, it is constant communication. So to make those assumptions that I'm not engaged and involved, I am consistently involved. You're not engaged with us. You okay. have not been engaged with us. As a complete school committee, our purview is the budget. You have not been engaging with us in discussions on the budget. You were absent. You know what? No, I Mary was Ellen not Kelly. absent. You are incorrect. Mary Ellen I Kelly was, was invited. So why wasn't she here? If you, uh, you know what? Here, I... <laughs> uh, so, so I'm just saying that, you know, here we are once again. So when you do submit the budget, are we going to be shocked again by, because again, we haven't had more discussions. I'm just, I'm frustrated. I'm upset that constantly whenever these discussions come up, you're nowhere to be found. There were some questions earlier, Mayor, that would have been helpful. You know, to your point, you, we, I didn't know until tonight at 5.34 p.m. that you had a conflict. We scheduled this vote on the budget last fall for this night. And if we had known that you had a conflict, we would have easily rescheduled our annual budget vote for you.